with the operator in the back, that's it, you can close to you there, right? Exactly. And you push away, swing, is that yeah, bring it up, bring it down, push away with a swing, and that's the score, right? The Daniel here has a with that 50 pound, it's too heavy for him to curl and press. We have to use the hips. And if for some reason they're a little bit lighter, like you only have a pair of hands at home, you gotta just curl and press. You don't need to use your hips. You don't need to use your hips. That's not gonna be your second one. Give that a little test. But this one you can do five, 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 or ten and ten of those minutes. Or if it's heavy, because then you got heavy weight, you might just get eight on the side instead of ten on the side. Right? Or you just five each side. Right? If you're doing the curl and press at home, you got a lighter weight, you even get twelve on each side. Because it's even much stronger than the weight you have. So that's number two. All right, and then number three, you go to a row. So if your weight's heavy, you're going to do a dead row. Where you place it down before you between one back to back, it's back. You're going to use your right to help you row it up. Because the weight's too heavy, just to hold it in a bent over position. You're going to use your right to help you. Look at your legs. Look at your legs. Again, you might be able to yeah. right? But if your weight's just going fine, you can just do a, a bent over row, then you can do a bent over row. Just back like that, and you your row. You also need a little flexibility to sit down so you can tap on the floor. If you don't have that flexibility, you can just do a bent over row like this. Ten on each side. Right? If your weight is manageable and you can just hold that position to your own, you can do that. But if you have a heavy weight, then you can use your legs to help you. All right. So that's ten on each side. Or you can do five, 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 five. Whatever you want to distribute it. That's going to be your third one. So you have your squats clean to the reverse one, your squat. Then you have your swing clean to the push press. Then you have your rows. Those are the three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Start with those three. Ten on each side. All right. Then we'll take a one minute break. And then we go into another 12 minutes with four, five, and six. Right cycles of those. Four, five, and six. Number four here is a hand to hand swing or a deadlift. Okay, you wait here. You're going to throw it back again. Push the front, hit your upper inner thigh thrust forward. Switch. Back, thrust. Back, thrust. You can use a kettlebell for this one if you want to. The kettlebell swing. Switch hand to the back. Thrust. Back, thrust. Back, thrust. That's why it's a little bit of coordination and the ability to fully contract your glutes as you push forward without arching back. So, what you can do instead is just give me a single sided. The wing and deadlift, push back, and push forward. So a little bit less coordination, but still the same effect. You're going to push back, you're going to stretch the back of the thigh, and push forward. That's going to be your number four. Your first one is the third, so the second pair. So you got a little bit of back, and push forward. Push back, and push forward. Again, with the swing version, your weight kind of needs to be heavy. Otherwise, your skill doesn't get complicated back and forth. Right? So if you don't have something heavy, just do the deadlift version. All right. That's number four, number one of the second circuit without a little test. Is that your weight so far so good? All right, all right, good, okay. And then, so the second circuit, a little bit easier, a little bit simpler, a little more cardio. The second one, I feel like we need weight support. The second exercise is just a line sprint. You find a good distance for yourself, let's say it's here, back, run over to the other side. Let's say I'm frame here, I would hopefully run further than this, but just to stay in frame, I'm just running back and forth, 10 on each side, all right? So out here, you got a lot of space. If you're running all the way from there down to there, then maybe you're not going 10 for a side, maybe you're just getting three or four for a side. Inside or at home, you don't have a lot of space. Maybe you're moving just a little bit, so maybe get 10 or even more than 10 per side. Right? Then you have you can go all the way down there if you want to down to there. So you notice you're going all the way down there. Sherry, you can close over here, you can stay in your spot that was a good distance there. So you go white, white line to white line. There you go. Or so just, just however you want to learn. You can do sideways, that's more challenging, but if you, you, you go forward, you go you run faster. So that's you. Sideways is harder. But if you go forward, you get to go faster, so it loses up to you. Yeah. Go backwards, you can go backwards if you want to do it. So anyway, I end up going backwards this time. For some reason. All right, that's your second one. Makes sense? Okay, cool. You can do the practice book, actually. Go ahead, you'll get a little test. Then you get out of the way. You get a little test book. Practice it now. You get, to, you get a feel for what the distance is. You can get a kind of, kind of feel, figure out what distance you want to do. You can do sideways here. You can do a forward run forward and you have a lot more distance down here. You got a lot of space and just run sprint down, sprint back. All right? So you can go down, down to the car and back. All right. Fantastic. Okay. And then the final one of this second pair, pair number three, or the sixth exercise, is going to be a sit up. So a single leg back and sit up. That means our leg comes up too, just one leg. So we're lying down here. We lift the shoulders up first, we lift the leg up, and we come up evenly and back down to the other side. And then down, right? Make sure you're sitting up with your leg and your torso evenly. If your leg comes up too soon, you can't lift up your torso enough. So if your torso comes up too soon, lift your leg up, doesn't do anything. So make sure everything comes up evenly. So this is the base version. I'll give you one level easier and one level harder here in a moment. So we got a little test. And that's going to be the final one 10 on each leg. 10 on each leg. 
Now, the easier version is you bend the knee as you come in. So if I have the right shirt, bend the knee as you come in. That makes it a little bit easier. All right. To make it harder, don't touch your feet down and don't touch your shoulders down. Keep your shoulders up the whole time, keep your feet up the whole time like this. Go right back down and sit over it. Shoulders never touch. Shoulders never touch. Lie down gently. All right. We can make it more challenging if you want to. So if you get a more challenging version, maybe get five or five or six If you get the easier version, maybe not too bad, maybe you get 12 or five. Right? But it's 10 exercises of everything you can, you can get. It. If you start to understand it, you can start to change the rest if you want to. But just to use it simple as you can. All right, makes sense. Okay, so that first three, the first three you do, and we'll cycle through for 12 minutes after that squat. First one was that squat clean to reverse lunge. They went through them real quick again, and it's like squat clean, we got up, close to the squat or reverse lunge to finish the rep. Bring it back down and then do it again. Heavy side, if you do lunge, you do five, 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 five. After that, the swing clean, the push press. If you go back, get your upper and back, go score it back and push it up. Push away, let it swing, push, push, right? Or just give me that curl and press. If your weight is manageable, you just curl and press with this. All right. Then you have a rose after that. Bend right? over right here, from your side, or if your weight heavy, you can put it down the floor. Use your legs to help you. All right? Those are the first three. Okay, folks. If you need more weights, you're going to go ahead and grab some more weights if you want. Good. There you go. Okay, earlier she said she was going to grab a 20 and get off her 10 reps, but she wants to grab some heavier, maybe the PT. Okay, yeah. All right, make sense? Okay. Daniel's already sweating. I like it. Oh, I like it. Fantastic. Um, so just let me know during the workout, folks. I'm grabbing more stuff in the project. Make eye contact with me and just shout out some numbers. I'm going to say 50. 50. What do I mean? 50. 55. Benny, I'm going to say 75. So we got there. All right, folks. Exercise number one here. The squat clean, we need a reverse lunge or the squat, right? Then each side, here we go, folks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's see. Here we go. Bring it up, and then you can have reverse lunge. So you're going to do the reverse lunge. So you can put it down in between four. For example, if it closes, then you reverse lunge. You're going to do this all the same side. Keep it simple. Ten on each side. Good. Here we go. And you want to do the squat version that's easy on the knees, that's up to you. Ten on each side. Take breaks whenever you want to today. I won't tell you any, you won't have any break time. You just take breaks whenever you want. Ten on each side. If you want to do five, 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 if you want. After this, you're going to have that swing clean to the push press after this. Convention time. So I'm going to do a swing clean to the push press after this. So I push it up the whole time. Imagine you have words in your shirt. I want to see a word in your shirt the whole time. Put it in your shirt. Keep it close up. Just up. Put it in your shirt, folks. 11 minutes and 11 seconds left. That's 11. Good. There you go. There you go. Just 10 each side. 10 each side. We have a heavyweight. Maybe you can't get 10. So 8, right? You want to grab a heavyweight and just 8 and 10. Once you get it, once you get it, you can start to take less a little bit. 10 is just an easy number to think about. Good. Let's see here. Good. There you go. Nice. There you go. Good. We're here. Yeah. Just finish this 10 for a second. So you can swing clean, push press now. Yeah. Good. Good. Don't don't forget to do it. Keep it a little bit higher. Up, upward and then up, upward. Yeah. Push it. There we go. Yeah. Exactly. And then exactly. And then exactly. 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 Yep, and then push away, let it swing down. Don't slow it away, but push away so it can swing down. So you need to swing up, push away so you can swing down. Push away so you can swing down. Good. You're going to push away, you're going to swing down, upper in your thigh. You can make contact with this upper in your thigh, and this thigh will push his arm up. Now you're not doing a curl unless you're in the curl. If you're doing the swing, forearm, wrist, put your upper in your thigh. Your thigh goes back to the hips, go back. You push your hips forward, that's going to push the thigh forward, and that is going to push your arm up because your arm was on your thigh. It's going to push your arm up. So on your shoulder now, it's back and press it up. If you're close to it, press it up. Arm right next to your ear. And it's all the top. If you're facing out, press your abs, press your legs, press your glutes. Good. There you go. There you go. Come on now, Come on now. All right. From there, folks, we have over here, sit, finish this first press. And I think it went through the nose here. Ten of these out. He's sitting back. Look those over there. I'm just talking. I'm just talking about you. Go ahead. Don't mind me. He's just sitting back. You got to straighten. Start bending the knees. There you go. Good sign. Yes, we need to go over the time. Here we go. Look. Inside, folks, so approach the home if you want to. You can sit against the wall. There's some back support if you want to. There you go. Inside, there you go. And we'll get you in the row after that. 
Find your distance, you're running from one hand back to the other end, running back and forth, hand on each side. After that, just sit up, just sit up after that. One leg, there you go. The first one, though, dead lift over the swing. Three, two, one, and go ahead and start those. Hand on each side, hand on each side. Hand on each side. Get into the swing version, hand hand swing version there. Hand on each side. Go ahead and apply that to the hand hand swing version. Good. Yep. And then time they want to, they can switch just a dead lift version if they want to, a little bit less, a little bit less momentum, a little less coordinated. And you just do a little bit heavier. Good. Good. The second set here, a little bit more cardio. A little bit quicker. You get more rounds in. Again, if you're going to swing, I want your upper inner thigh to hit you. Your forearm to hit your upper inner thigh. Not too low. A little bit higher. Not too low. There. Yeah, not too low. Not too low. Don't bend too much. Put it back a little more. Don't bend it. Don't go too low. That's your thigh. Your head. Uh, yep, yep. That's good. Yep. Good. Now, there's a new run. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go yeah, you can do that one. There you go. Yeah, that's right. All that's great. There you go. Everything you can do is run there. Very nice. All right. And you can of those. Feel free to move. Feel free to move. There you go. Feel free to move all the way down there. Just all the way down there. Yep. Yeah. You can do sideways or if you face forward, you can sprint forward. Or sideways. That's you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Good, good. Man on each side. If you're going a long distance, folks, you maybe not in 10, you're getting five. If you're going a short distance at home or inside, maybe get 10 or more than 10, not going very far. But if you're not able to go very fast, you go a little further. So you go through more, more. There you go. There you go. Good. And you can go to your finisher. You're actually going to enjoy setup there. There you go. The harder work, the whole hold there. There you go. Legs never touching. Shoulders never touching, but she still lies down all the way as much as she can there. Ten on each side, ten on each side. Take the time if you lie down. That's very good. Make sure you never keep your feet up here. Make sure you lay as close as you can. And all lies down. Very nice. Very good. Very good. 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 If your torso comes up too soon, the right coming up doesn't do anything. You should come up easily. There you go. And lie down easily. Lie down slowly. Everything should lie down at the same time, too. Good, good, good. Ten on each side. There you go. Then you go back to the one. So you, you can see circuit number two is much faster. Much quicker. You get more of it. And nine and a half minutes. Nine and a half minutes, folks. There you go. There you go. Right. Good, good, good. There you go. Excellent. And you can bend the knees. Help. Good, there you go. Donovan into the first half. She's going back into the first half. Exactly. So not too low, Donovan. Stay able to hide it. Push back up in the knee. Push back. Push it forward. Yes, right. Yes, right. Yes, right. Yes, right. Let your forearm hit your upper inner thigh. Your forearm hits your thigh. Make contact with your thigh. Because your thigh is what's pushing your forearm up. You're going to push back. You push in forward. That's going to push your thigh forward. Your arm is on your thigh. Your thigh pushes your arm up. In the air, there is your arm. It's way push. Well, you do the deadlift version, you might do the deadlift version, it's also fine, folks. You have less coordination required. Good. And you go back to your run. You're at 840, 840. 840. There you go. Then don't, not too low with that, with that wrist, folks, with that forearm. Just your upper thigh, upper inner thigh. And then make contact. Very good. Good. There you go. Nice. 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 There you go. Okay, we can't get over here. Good. Good. There you go, Susan. Very nice. You're supposed to see him stack, focusing on that right leg. So you need to there. Let that right knee bend a little bit more. There we go. And push it back. But just push it back. That's just trailing behind you. Push back. Push back. There we go. There we go. Yep. Yep. Good. 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 Nice. There you go. Good. Good. Yep. Yep. Up in the thigh. Yep. Your thigh. Push your arm up. There you go. Good. There you go, Benny. Good. Good. There you go. Good. 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 Nice. Nice. There you go, folks. Excellent. Excellent. At 750, 750, folks. 750, good. Good, there you go. That's it, going down to the sales here. Good. Very nice, very nice. Good. Here we go. Good, 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 good. There you go, see that. Good, good sales here. Good. Exactly, exactly. Good, good, there you go. We'll come back to the sales here. Can you get any side of these? Any side? There we go, man. Can you get that with the hard version too, yeah? Yeah, still going down all the way there, but legs just almost touch. Go ahead and do it almost touch. So we're still over the distance there. That's good. Pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. Pretty good. Lying down gently. Pretty good. 
Very nice. We just go to very far distance. You might not get 10, you might only get five. You are five. Good. Good. Seven minutes. Of course, last class just ran a full lap around it. We're going to do that too. Run a full lap around for two full laps. We're at 655. 655. There we go. Nice stretch. Good. 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 Six forty eight. Good. 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 And the thing is, a more challenging for you. Don't put any more challenges. Your legs up. Don't want the legs touch. Shorter up. You want to get a nice little move. Yeah, don't want the legs touch. Don't want the shoulders touch. There you go. Good, good. Yeah, there you go. Maybe you do a harder version. Maybe just get five. Take ten. Good. Other case stands here. Good. You got to do ten too. Good, good. There you go. All right, it's nice. Go. Six and a half. Go six and a half. Six and a half. This one. Good, good. Good. 